Hello everyone! I have a quick tip for you that will make your scene building life in Dash Studio a lot easier and that is how to snap objects to the grid to the increments that you set in Dash Studio. It's a common 3D feature in many 3D applications and Dash Studio has it as well but it's kind of hidden and we don't really know where it is if we don't know where to look. This is available for all these tools, namely this one here, the 3D manipulator tool or the translate tool or the rotate tool independently. So you can set snapping on one, but not on the other. Really depends on where and how you'd like to work. And the key to our success here, I'll use the universal manipulator, is under the tool settings tab here, the tool settings pane. I've got it open down here already. If you don't, then head over to window, panes, and dock it somewhere sensibly. You can also float if you like, if you prefer that. But yes, that needs to be open, tool settings. And then you can see this section here, which is called snapping. And it has three buttons that you can enable independently. So I can turn the snapping on for the translate, but not for rotate or for rotate and scale independently. Depends on what I need. So right now it's disabled, which is the default. So that means I can move my character without it snapping to anything. I can also use this little triangle here that'll move him along two axes, but he's not snapping. It's basically a fluid value there. So if I go and enable the snapping for the translate option now, then I can see that as I drag him, these little steps come up here. And that's really nice if you want to line up two parts of a house with one another or two characters that need to be on a grid or whatnot. Works in either direction, only for the translate currently, not for the rotate, but it also works for the two axis in conjunction option here. So if I do that, it comes up with a little grid that lets me see where my character is going to end up in which increments. That's quite nice. So if I go and rotate him, he is still not snapping to anything. So if I were to enable that now, then watch what happens, left click and drag, and I get these little indentations here on the dial. And that means I can only move him to wherever one of these little indentations points. Is that cool or what? So as I said before, if I had this enabled on the universal manipulator tool, and now I want to do something that requires him not to snap, I could go over to the regular rotation tool, and that now doesn't have snapping enabled. So that is a way that you can quickly switch between having something snap and having something that doesn't snap. Or you can also just, with the tool setting selected here, this is context sensitive, you can now go and enable snapping here. So that means my snapping is now working in the increments that I, that I have set here, which might be different to the ones that I've set on the universal manipulator icon. If I switch over, different type of snapping is possible here. And the same works with scale. Just to prove a point, if I go and make my character a bit bigger, he doesn't grow fluidly, he does snap in increments. So that is, that's really, really handy if you want to build scenes out of multiple props and they need to all be on a certain position or something like that. There we go, that's snapping in Dash Studio. I hope you liked it, I hope you got a lot out of it. If you did like this video, then please do share it with friends, family and total strangers. And go on, create, be creative. Bye-bye, see you next time.